Okay. Can now invest in construction cost. Excellent. Casey's barking at dream objects in the background here. Still can't pay this loan off? 235, really? Okay, we're gonna call that diplomat for now. Gonna repay our loan and then we're gonna go to war. So let's bring up our army maintenance. Can we turn our forts on? Be great if we could turn our forts on. Let's see. Yeah, we can. All right. Clear war. No allies. We're gonna make Tver our war goal. And oh, didn't react fast enough to that. We might lose a battle. Jeez, I really need to remember to turn the speed down before I go to war. It frustrates the hell out of me when I do that. Like I lose a battle that I absolutely should have won. Black news indeed. Uh, so this is our new king, 436. This is our new heir. He's going to have a hunting accident. <laughs> How old does he need to be for us to disinherit him? Minus 50 prestige. Yeah, no. All right. That was a much bloodier war than it needed to be. You stay there, you stay there. You go here, and you just wait in case we need backup. And this will be over in no time at all. And we've taken out a loan again. <laughs> just we were out of debt. We can probably manually reduce inflation. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's put our free diplomat on subject. Start buttering up some people for future annexation into the greater Russian realm. That was such a bro thing for the Livonian Order to sell us to the province. I'm so glad we're not going to have to fight the Livonian Order now. And then I think we got one more war with Novgorod, and then it's time to go after the Hordes. Oh shit, Genoa conquered Crimea. Oh man, the icon was forgotten. We've only got two more provinces left until we've embraced uh, Renaissance in all of our states. Let's see, Siege of Tver is over. Alright. Uh, thank you, thank you. We will demand your full annexation forthwith. Got claims on all your shit, so it's only going to give us 17.5 ag expansion. And uh, whatever money you have left over, go ahead and throw that in. Excellent. Um, we're going to repay these loans. We're gonna core your shit at a reduced cost because we made sure that we had claims on all of it. And we're just gonna keep armies stationed here forever. Plague, oh no. Uh, let's pay money to make the plague not be as bad. Skov has embraced the Renaissance, fantastic. And that didn't really dig into our manpower. It dug into our manpower more than it should have. Oh, we have estates that want shit. Oh, hey, we can give land to the Cossacks now. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. And uh, can we expand the Cossack register too? Well, let's see. The Boyers want land. Um... We could give them... They already kind of have a core here. We could give them Rostov or Yaroslavl. 
Those are pretty big cities, though. I'd rather give them countryside provinces. Um, conscript elite Cossacks. Uh, oh, that gives us army tradition. Supply arms. That increases our force limit and increases their loyalty and influence. Interesting. Uh, for only 15 military power? How long does it last? It lasts 20 years. Interesting. Permit self-governance gives them autonomy. They gain loyalty and influence. So this is what I want. It's the raised Cossack host. Cossack Eastern Knights. We'll wait to do that until we get a new level of cavalry tech. And that'll be like our benchmark on when to hire Cossacks. Client of the merchant class. So sad for them. I do, I want to make a lot of use of Cossack cavalry in this run. I, I'm, I'm a fan of the Cossacks as a historical group. Uh, I think they're a very, very interesting group of people, and uh, we will happily use them as our knights of reclaiming Europe for Orthodox Christendom. Emperor has enacted a reform. Good for him. He's doing all right for himself so far. All right. So we're, we are making money, right? Yes, we are making money despite having everything at full maintenance. Moving quickly by boat or on horseback, the Cossacks of the steppes are very adept raiders. Several such raids have lately laid waste to the Lithuanian countryside and even major cities some way away from our borders. As the Cossacks responsible are based inside our borders, the Lithuanians have now abandoned both compensation and for the culprits to be brought to justice. Uh, I'm sorry, this is beyond our control. Sorry, it's beyond our control. Um, actually, we might want to just raise some Cossacks now. Let's see. So, we're going to permit them self-governance. We are going to supply them some arms. And, yeah, we're going to raise, raise a couple Cossack regiments. That puts us over our force limit. We'll disband something else. No, it does not. Excellent. And I don't think we're really going to rely on Streltsy that much. And now let's reduce <laughs> reduce their autonomy back to where it started. Uh, while also reducing autonomy across the board. Okay. Um, was there a reason I was not annexing anybody right now? Piskov, I believe, was our next in line. Prove relation. Yeah, I don't know why I was not doing that. One eighty nine. One ninety. Annex vassal. There we go. Grant export licenses. Uh, Novgorod would like us, but we'd lose legitimacy. Privileges have to be earned. You kidding me? You kidding me, man? I don't know why I said that in a Matthew McConaughey voice. You kidding me, man? Alright, we don't have any loans. We have a great army. We've got Cossack Cavalry. We're actually going to distribute our Cossack Cavalry to some of our frontline units. So that they're not held in reserve. We want our crappier cavalry to be held in reserve. Okay. So these are now our main kill stacks. This is going to be a reserve stack. And once this core construction finishes, how long until 
Let's see, do we have unrest? We still have unrest down here. How long until our truce with Novgorod is up? This year. All right, so let's get let's get in position. Let's get ready to kick their asses. Now eh, we'll wait for this annexation. Just hang out until then. Put you guys. Well, how likely? To, yeah, we're not that likely to have a revolt. Especially if we boost stability. I try to stay at two if I'm in a, playing in a situation where revolts are likely. Truce with Novgorod is ended. We can go ahead and get the Archibus. Okay, so this is what I want to see. Eastern Knights, when we upgrade our regular cavalry to Stradioi Toy Cavalry. Good. The Cossacks upgrade as well. That is good. Shock damage plus 10. We will take it. We're going to protect the independence of the church, as always. Yeah, we'll just wait for this annexation, and then we'll go to war. I'm actually not super worried about Yelets anymore, so we'll bring these guys up to help us kill Russia, or kill Novgorod. We are Russia. We will soon be Russia. Um, admin Tech 10, and I think we hold all of the territory we need to form the Russian nation. Yeah, we just seriously need to rush, rush um, Admin Tech. Which is going to be cheaper because we're completing the idea group first. All right. Odiev has embraced the Renaissance. We can actually start hiring some advisors. Um, missionary strength, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be. Kazumov is going to take so damn long to. Of course, that's going to spawn rebellions again. Excellent. More ag agricultural intensification. Can we get a Diplo rep advisor? Because that would really help us. Yes! With our annexations. And while we're at it, um, reinforce speed, I'll take it. We've got a full council for the first time this game. When's the admin idea that lowers advisor costs? Oh, that's a different, that's a different idea group that does that. We are about to get the first Muscovite idea though, which also gives us more money. So I think we'll be okay. Converting. First bout of converting heathens to the orthodoxy. I don't necessarily know why I'm waiting for this to finish before we go to war, but it, it, it feels like the right thing to do. Risks of trade. Uh, yeah, we'll pay money to get some mercantilism. All right. I really wish I could have the Sabaton soundtrack on. Uh, unfortunately, it causes copyright claims on your videos. If you uh, play it. Okay, cool. So we got our first Muscovite idea. Gatherers of Tribute. The Tatar yoke was for a long time a harsh hindrance to Russian society, but Muscovy still thrived as our state had the right to collect tribute from or tribute to the Khan. Even now, we enjoy the benefits of the organization we built to perform this function. National tax plus 10%. Sweating sickness. Uh, let's pay to make it go away. And we took out a loan again. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, turn off the forts. Just for a little bit. Are there any forts we don't need? Yeah, like, we probably don't need a fort in Yaroslavl. 
Um, I can't imagine. Eh, we should probably keep the rest of those, yeah. Two sixty-nine. Cossack's estate has expired. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can raise another Cossack host already. They're gonna lose fifteen loyalty. Let's see. Loyalty is above sixty. Between 40 and 60. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So we'll take out these regular cavalry. Send them back here. Awesome. We're going to be making much use, much use of these Cossacks. These men who would call themselves Cossacks. Uh, we don't have any rebels that are at 30% doing. Nope. So we can't use that. Alright. Annexation is close to done. Diplo rep really sped it up. Diplo rep advisor. Got a couple more months till we can pay off this loan. Norway has been found building a spy network. Good for them. Oh yeah, what's our... Uh, do we have Diplo slots? We can actually start making alliances with people? Hell yes, we can. Um, integrating Peskov. Awesome. Uh... Great Horde is fighting Gazan. That's good. We like that. That's good for us. That's a positive thing. Oh, we're actually almost out of time here. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, so be sure to check out loresworn.com. That's our website. Uh, we're at Loresworn Order on Twitter. I am at AsaTJ. That's A S A T J. Subscribe to see more of our uh, EU4 content and all the other cool stuff we're doing. Um, getting ready to just consolidate our power here, knock some hordes off the map, and then I don't know. We'll either have to go through. We'll either have to go through Catholic Europe, hopefully after the Reformation has torn it asunder, um, which especially is going to be difficult because Poland it looks like annexed the Teutons. Um, or we'll have to, like, vassalize these Orthodox nations on the Caucasus and attack the Ottomans through death attrition mountain land, which I don't necessarily want to do, um, but that might end up being our only option. Because reclaiming Constantinople, other than forming Russia, is our, our number one goal. We want to be properly czars, not just czars in name. And, uh, yeah, we will see you guys next time.